It is time to go to Colipe, which I am so excited for, but I am really sad because Colanda has been so, so, so amazing, and I am going to miss our little bungalow so much. It was the cutest place ever, and it kind of felt like home, and I'm really sad to leave, but I'm also excited, so it's okay. It felt like we were staying in the jungle slash rainforest while being so close to the beach, but our next hotel will be right on the beach in Colipe. We took a pretty cramped car to get here. The transportation was pretty nice. We got here quite a bit early, so I think that we still have like an hour before we actually leave. I'm trying to check in. We have about an hour before our ferry leaves to Colipe. So I'm gonna get some coffee and we're gonna stare at this beautiful view because it's right on the water. The pier is a lot less chaotic than it was a few days ago. But I think that's just because we're one of the only people here. There's definitely a lot of businesses around here and different tour companies trying to get you to take their tour. 60 baht for a cappuccino. Basically $2. I think that'll work. Now that we got Jenny's coffee taken care of, there is this like little stand that's like away from a lot of people and they're only charging 50 baht for pad thai. That's like so cheap. It's like half the price of the places right here on the pier. Pad thai and uh, fried rice. One, one. Uh, one and one. Okay, thank you. We got a quick meal before getting on the speedboat. This was about 50 baht, so super cheap. We got some pad thai and some fried rice. Not the best, not the worst. <laughs> but it was cheap. Yeah. The verdict is the pad thai, I think it's pretty good, but this fried rice really is not good at all. <laughs> it's just mostly rice and it just tastes really bland. And then they few pieces of chicken are right, and then I guess this is like green onion, that's probably the best part. In total, both of these, it's three dollars, so not really wasting that much. We just wanted to get some food in our stomach before we go on our two or three hour speedboat. I say two to three hours because we're still not sure how long this boat is supposed to take, and we don't know if there's any stops. We think there isn't any stops, but of course there might be. It's very crowded. Three hours later. We did it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. That was a rough three hours. I did not enjoy that one bit. But our hotel is only a one minute walk, so let's go do that. And it looks like it was definitely worth it. The water here looks beautiful. Uh, I think it was more of like 15 second walk here, thankfully. Yeah, that boat ride over was, I didn't hate it as much as Jacob, but I definitely did not enjoy it. Um, Jacob gets seasick though more than I do and I was fine. I was in the middle though, between Jacob and another lady and it was like super sweaty and like we were just cramped for three hours. So that was kind of rough, but that's the price you gotta pay if you wanna get to paradise. And Colipe looks absolutely stunning. We are staying right on the beach. Our hotel is, um, interesting i'll show you guys in just a second here but yeah it's not one of our better hotels there's uh there's no air conditioning so it's gonna be kind of rough so this is our beachside bungalow for 54 dollars a night 
definitely not as good as the last place that we paid $56 a night. That place we had a massive three-story bungalow. We have a tour there if you want to see that too. But here we have this patio, which is very nice. We will probably be spending most of our time here because there's no chairs inside. So we'll probably be sitting right here on these little mats. And the whole thing is made out of this like bamboo stuff. Uh, I honestly feel like I'm gonna fall through the floor. There's lots of holes and it's okay. It's a little bit rustic, it's fine. We have our bed with our mosquito net. We unfortunately do not have an air conditioner, but we do have this fan that points directly at the bed. So hopefully that will help. We turned it on and it's pretty hot in here because there's no airflow. So like I said, we'll be spending most of our time on the patio or the beach. And then we have our bathroom here. This ground feels a lot better than the ground out there. Our sink, we get two towels and a shower. Looks like there's a hot water heater, but let's be honest, we're definitely gonna be taking freezing cold showers. That is our entire little bungalow here. We'll show you the beach in just one second. It's definitely not luxury. Honestly, I would be totally fine with everything here because it's such a perfect location. The bungalow is super cute. I just wish that we had an air conditioner. Ooh, mosquito just flew out of there. We got our nice chain here to lock it. Oh gosh. Yeah, I couldn't figure that out. Well, I tried for like 10 seconds. Let's go get some food. This is what I was worried about. Somebody could just like... <laughs> take this off. Now, time for the test, but you can. Ah! It looks like we successfully locked it on the fourth try. Third time. Third time's the charm. Well, I tried before oh. you. Third time for me. <laughs> well, we finally got it locked, but then Jacob realized he doesn't have his wallet. Doing great over here, guys, doing great. The good part about this place is that this beautiful beach is specifically for people staying at this hotel. So we have these lawn chairs, we get free snorkeling equipment, so that's really nice. This beach does seem pretty nice. There's a ton of boats close by, but other than that, like, the sand is great. We were walking to go get some food though, so that'll cheer us up a little bit. came off the beach onto the walking street. Notice that there was a 7-Eleven nearby. So before we are going to get some lunch, we stopped in here. We're probably gonna get some water. We are starting out with some spring rolls and some french fries, and then we got some noodles coming. These spring rolls look delicious, but they're too hot, so I can't touch them yet. Let's try french fry. These spring rolls are delicious. They have like some noodles and vegetables in it and the sauce is so good. They're so crunchy on the outside and the noodles inside are so soft. Mm. This looks delicious. I got spicy noodles and Jacob got stir fried noodles. They look pretty similar but mine have some peppers in them. I haven't had a pepper yet, let's see. Not too spicy, definitely good though. There's not too much flavor, but I like it. We are back in our room now, and as you can tell, my face is very sweaty. I thought that maybe it would get better in here as the sun went down, but it's still really hot. And unfortunately, this mosquito net here blocks the fan wind from actually getting to the bed. So it's just really hot, unless you're standing right in front of the fan, but then the fan doesn't work through the mosquito net, so it's gonna be a long night. I just got finished taking the longest, coldest shower of my entire life. Honestly, if I take like two or three of those a day, I'm probably gonna be feeling pretty good. I feel like my whole mood switched after that really cold shower. Thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. We don't really like being negative, but it also doesn't make any sense to attempt to be positive when you're just not having a good day. So we still have two more videos from Colipe to film and to get out to you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure those ones will be better than this one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.